Hey guys, what's up? It's Shao Style. Another random video for you guys. So every now and then, like, I do get, like, uh, comments or uh, compliments or just questions in general, be like, about uh, the way I edit or how did I learn what I learned, what I needed to do, if, if any advice for them so they can, like, get to a certain scale level that they find interesting. However, the, the funny thing is, like, my response is usually the same. I always tell them, well, you know, there's really no way around it. You just kind of have to put in the work, right? You know, it doesn't just happen. It's just it's, it's practice, you know? It's just like with anything. It's daily practice, you know? Because something I want to talk about now is, you know, people's response to that. They never have time to to work on anything, right? Because, you know, they have a job, they have family, you know, they got other personal obligations. And like, you know, I totally understand and respect that. Everybody's situation is different. So pretty much what I want to like uh, share with you is pretty much what I went through in order to make more time for myself because I was in the same situation, you know, I didn't have much time for myself to like, you know, work on my projects or to work on my interests and all this stuff, right? I grew up like working daily. <laughs> I mean, my parents, uh, mainly, primarily my dad, my dad's one of like the hardest working people that I know. And like, uh, he got a job at a, a factory, you know, when I was like at a young age, you know, and during that elementary school, what he would do is like on the weekends, he would like take me to go work with them at the shop, right? Yeah, my mom was home and she was able to take care of me on the weekends, but my dad, he just wanted me to learn to work. So he took me to like the shop and like, he would pay me like a quarter or an hour type of thing. I was a little kid. So all he did was like uh, ask me to like clean or just pick up stuff or I don't know, just whatever. <laughs> you know, again, I was in elementary school and I was just like was at the shop, you know. The business owner didn't like the fact because, you know, I was a little kid walking around in the shop. But my dad, he, he said that we, uh, he'll take a responsibility if anything was to happen to me, right? So starting junior high, he started his own business, right? And so he started to work out of the garage, started helping him out, you know, working out of the garage. And then like uh, pretty much during high school, he got a shop again i started work helping him out on the weekends and on my you know vacation time from school like to help him with his business then when i graduated out of high school i basically went to work with him full time you know it's and again since i was already working with him on the weekends though the main thing that changes that i basically started to work with him during the week so i became like one of those workaholic people that sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday there was another day of the week we'll be working there that was my birthday we would work it was a holiday we work you know fucking national holiday whatever somebody died it doesn't matter we still work you know that's kind of like the lifestyle that we you know had we just worked a lot so yeah unfortunately working my dad yeah, things didn't work out that well pretty much uh the business made money but it only made enough money for the house that we basically bought together and pretty much every single dollar that we earned it just went straight to the house right however for ourselves we didn't get, get we didn't really pay ourselves because the money wasn't really there uh yeah it was it was tough you know working daily literally daily waking up like four in the morning going to the shop me and my dad uh <laughs> we had uh, an argument and then like i decided to like get a, another job just to get more income and I, then i worked at walgreens and there was a night shift right at first i was working three days out of the week i started at 11 at night and i got off at seven in the morning which sucked out so friday to saturday morning saturday to sunday morning then Sunday to Monday morning. Yeah, that was my schedule. Again, like uh, me, like a bad relationship. Like uh, my dad, we kind of like talked things out a bit. And then like I started to work with him. So fuck it. It was like I had days where like I work like the graveyard shift and getting out of the graveyard shift. I would like go straight to work with my dad. And then like uh, this is when I was working with Paul already. And like uh, he will give me, send me a video. So not only would I have like a freaking... I had to go to work at night and, you know, the graveyard shift. You know, I get out of 7 o'clock. Then I go and help my dad out you know to do some construction work i'll get home maybe around two or three then i have a video to edit for paul and then i'll work on that i barely any fucking sleep but then like had a relationship with my girlfriend so you know i had to make some time for her which i didn't really because you know obviously i couldn't so i don't know the thing is i fucking burn myself out i mean i got to a point where like i just had zero time for anything for myself and i don't know i guess it hit me like bad not to get too personal, but I finally got to a point where I realized, you know what? My time is very, very fucking valuable and I need to really set priorities on who I need to give my time out towards, right? Probably the first thing and the most important thing I did for myself to like to uh, free up my time was, well, like, honestly, I stopped drinking, you know, uh, for me to have such a crazy work schedule and whatnot. Also, I had a bad habit of since I was young to like drink, uh, I used to drink in any free time I had because, you know, I had the mentality, oh, I deserve this, you know, I wanted to relax and all, this, and all the bullshit. So any free time I did have, I'll just end up drinking or hanging out with people that drink. <laughs> and yeah, so that's definitely something that I needed to get rid of to like free up my time is simply stop drinking.
Another thing was I had a student loan that was lingering around. At around 2002, I graduated. I got stuck with a $24,000 student loan, which it ain't much compared to nowadays, sadly. I decided to like make a, a very strong effort to like pay off my student loan, right? So since 2002 up to 2016, I believe, yeah, I, I was able to finally pay off my student loan, right? Pretty much what I did was like the moment I got my paycheck from like uh, wa- working at Walgreens, the whole money went directly straight towards my student loan. I was able to like get out of it. You know, I was already working for Paul and doing some work for my dad. So, like, with that money, I was able to pay my rent and whatnot. But here I am dealing with fucking junkins and shit at night at Walgreens, you know, to pay off my student loan. So, the moment that I paid off my debt, literally, uh, just for, like, another four months, I worked at Walgreens. And I decided, hey, you know what? I can't do this shit anymore. I quit. <laughs> you know, put on my two weeks notice. So, yeah. So, that's another thing. I guess that's the next thing. Aside from uh, stopping to drink to free up my time is what I did is I paid off my debts. You know, fuck, fuck loans. You know, if you got any loans, get rid of them because, you know, all they do is force you to work more to pay those damn things off. So, yeah, get rid of any loans that you got. Another thing I did to free up my time was basically I had to tell people to f- go fuck themselves, you know. I was getting, like, a lot of people asking me to help them out with their videos, either to uh, help them do a VFX or help them edit or whatnot. And, like, you know, the thing is that I got to a point where, like, I just couldn't help them anymore because they kept asking for help, but they didn't offer any money. So, you know, I said, no, <laughs> I cannot do this anymore. And sure enough, guess what happened? Like, all those people that were hitting me up, they fucking stopped calling me, you know. So I was like, good, well, f- fuck them. Now, uh, since I'm not working or helping people out, they don't value my time. All I'm doing now is basically I'm helping out people see, like, uh, someone like Paul that actually, you know, does value my time. And, like, you know, he does pay me for my time. So there you go. Another thing you can do to, like, you know, open up your time is tell people to go fuck themselves. They're just, you know, asking for your help, but they're not offering anything in return. And probably, like, the main thing that I did was to, like, uh, help me free up time is basically I got rid of toxic people. Now, but toxic people, I mean, like, uh, when I was drinking a lot, like, uh, obviously, that was the majority of my friends, just people that just sat around and drank and shit. And, yeah, I just finally got to the point where I was like, you know what? I can't do this. If I get invited to go to a party that's at a bar, I just don't want to go anymore because it's just such a waste of time. If I get invited to a house party with people that just want to sit around and drink and smoke pot and shit, I won't go because it's such a waste of time for me right now. I just do not like doing that shit anymore. Honestly, I'd rather just, like, hang out, maybe have a nice dinner, and then, like, like talk about your day or something and you know keep it simple or maybe have a nice barbecue at a park or something that's cool to hang out with people that just like to sit around and party again like i cannot stand this shit anymore i'm just so over it and sure enough that freed up my time again because i'm not hanging out with people that you know the only reason they call you is just to sit around and get fucked up you know because that's not me anymore so i don't know i guess to summarize uh we all have the same 24 hours a day we all have the same days a week same weeks a month same months a year or you know, why not oh, what i needed to do to change was simply change my priorities you know i don't like to party anymore because i hate waking up sick and you know all fucking lazy and whatnot because you know from the drinking i don't like hanging out with people like that like to party because there's really nothing to talk about besides sitting around and getting fucked up and just i don't like this shit anymore eventually i had to tell my dad you know i need to like i can't work with him as much anymore because it just that was too much <laughs> you know working the weekends working holidays you know it was just it was putting a strain on my uh, relationship with my girlfriend so i just had to say no and like you know recently with editing uh I had someone that he was giving me work, but it was like late at night and then they wanted like the video done to the next day. So I had to like stay up late to work and I just, and again, I had to like say no because it just it was getting too much for me. I just couldn't take it, you know, and just I value my time so much that if it interferes me in one way or another, if it gives me stress or if I feel like you don't like value my time, you know, you don't want to offer anything in return. I mean, you want my help, but you don't want to like offer me any like any form of compensation, then I'm just going to say no to you. I'm not a dick about it, but like, man, going back to like those years where I was just like working daily daily and nightly and fucking i don't know going to school and whatever it was just way too much it was way too stressful you know i developed back pains i got sick a lot i was in a very bad mood i was miserable you know i was drinking a lot because you know i was just stressed out and, uh, fuck with that <laughs> now i'm pretty fucking mellow and <laughs> trust me you know i'm very happy since i cut off all the other shit i don't need i'm actually able to focus on my stuff you know yes i know maybe i'm not making as much money but what i do work i do make enough to i get by each month right and that's a lifestyle that I work to create for myself that I'm very proud of, right? And uh, yeah, so whether it's, you know, people that don't value your time, you know, you can either get rid of or maybe have bad habits, you know, such as drinking that you can get rid of from one odd. So there are ways for you to like free up your time. Everybody has the same amount of time, just everybody doesn't have the same amount of priorities. And I guess you need to figure out what are your priorities so you can invest your time in that. All right, this video is long enough. So that's all I got for you. Hope it helps. Take care. Peace.